Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about what's inside their a neuron is, how the things actually works, what kind of calculation is done inside a neuron, how the information is passed from one hidden layer of neurons to the next hidden layer of neurons or to the next output layer, whatever the next layer is. So uh, on the left hand side, you can see that there is, I have taken an example data set, whereas in first column is age column, the second column is income column, the third column uh, is the uh, buy insurance column, and the values are buy insurance, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, something like this. So if I read my first row with the age of 25 years and 15,000 uh, K or 15,000 uh, salary, um, person didn't buy insurance with the age of 35 years and in income of 75k person has um, uh, bought the insurance so this is my data set and i want to uh, make a deep learning or neural network model for this data set which can predict me that a, whether a person will buy insurance or not so uh, how the calculation will work inside how the calculation will work inside that uh, particular neural network. For this uh, example, of, for the sake of simplicity, I have just taken a simplest neural network for this case. Um, these are my first, you can see that X1 and X2, these are my input features. You can take this first layer as input layer. The second one is my, this, uh, this is my, uh, a hidden layer of neuron and this purple uh, circle or elliptical shape you can think of this is only one neuron is present i have taken just to explain it there can be any number of neuron inside a particular um, hidden layer of neuron or there can be any number of hidden layer inside a neural network but for simplicity purpose i have just taken as a one neuron and let's say this neuron uh, gives me uh, the next uh, last is the my output layer now this output layer will give me values in numeric form and uh, for the simplicity purpose assume that the, the values are given uh, by this output will be into this range 0 to 1 because uh, i will tell there is a reason behind always will uh, always value will be between 0 to 1 I, that I will discuss uh, but for the simplicity purpose you assume that the value is going to always come between 0 to 1 and if assume that if and what does it mean if a particular value comes out greater than 0 0.5 then we can assume that the it has a y that means that person will buy insurance uh, otherwise if value comes out less than 0 0.5 I can take it as no that means person will not buy insurance. So this is the overall idea and the problem and the data set and this is my neural network. But in today's video, we are going to discuss what's inside there a neuron is and how the calculation is done inside a neuron. So this is my neuron. So there are two parts inside a neuron. In the first part, there is weighted sum. Uh, let me write it as this as WS weighted sum. And in the second part, there is activation function. There are many number of uh, many types of activation functions. Uh, example, just I'm writing it, but you can assume for the simplicity purpose again, activation function are some sort of function, mathematical function. You give some values to those function, those function will do the calculation and will give you some another value as an output. But, uh, in this case, in this particular case, we are going to take as our activation function as a sigmoid function. Uh, sigmoid function, value this this function always whatever value you will give this function value this function always returns output between 0 to 1 any value you will give to this function it will give you output between 0 to 1 so this is how uh, this is how it this function works and the same way there are multiple activation functions but uh, just to limit our discussion in this video we are going to assume that we are going to use an activation function sigmoid which will give us an output between 0 to 1 and this is my weighted sum weighted sum if i talk about uh, if i talk in detail about uh, formula for this is w i x i plus b and where i is equal to 1 to n summation of 
i means i means the i key value i i value can be from 1 to n in this case uh, that means number of records in this case we have four records that means i is i can uh, i i is minimum value of i is 1 and it can go up to 4 and then what we are doing xi is is our x1 x2 in this case our x1 is age and x2 is income and b is some uh, new variable which is termed as bias and so our what is our ultimate goal of our model what will happen during that training is we need to find the value of this w and b in such a way that those value will will work for any data and will give us um, the correct prediction so uh, if to make more sense out of it um, in this particular example let's say if i give the value to this neuron how the things will work so this is my x1 this is my x2 so in this case the formula will this formula will will, will be uh, for summation of because we have two values so w1 x1 uh, plus b the same way w1 uh, sorry w2 uh, and x2 plus b sorry b1 and b2 and the summation and let's say this is y and the, all these value will give me some value y so here x1 for the first row our x1 is let's say w1 is i am writing as w1 for the first row x1 is my age and uh, this is my 25 in this case because my age is 25 in first row and plus b b1 i am writing as b1 w2 is again i am writing as w2 x2 is in this case is 15000 so 15000 so this is and b2 is my something b2 so this this above equation will look like something like this for the first row so uh, what will actually what actually will happen in this case is since we need to find the value of w and b uh, what we will do we will start with some random value we will initialize w and b with some random value and we'll do the calculation so assume that just for hypothetically assume that i have uh, 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 initialized w1 with 0 0.4 and then 25 plus and uh, um, some random value of b1 let's say 0 0.5 and the same way some random value for w2 0 0.6 into 15000 plus b2 and some random value let's say 1.2 and if i do the some calculation and assign it to some variable y and just hypothetically uh, i have not calculated uh, just hypothetically assume that this value come out, comes out let's say 67 so my value for y is 67 so that means the first part weighted sum of my neuron is giving me value y as a 67 so what will happen in the next phase this y value is passed to the activation function so inside the second so what will happen inside it is let me take so this this was the my first part of neuron the, in the second part of neuron uh, this activation function this y value is given as an input to the activation function and my activation function will give me some output in in this case in this particular example we are taking as a sigmoid function as my output and what there is a defined formula for sigmoid function is 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus y so that means my y in this case is 67 so if i pass the 67 to this value this formula my this value this will become as 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus 67 and assume just hypothetically assume that i calculated it and this calculation comes out to be let's say 0 0.7 and what does the, this 0 0.7 means this 0 0.7 is passed to the next layer so that means in this particular in this particular example so all this calculation will be passed and this will give me 0 0.7 as an output for this particular first row this will give me 0 0.7 this means that 0 0.7 means that uh, which is greater than 0 0.5 that means it is giving me value uh, uh, sorry value as y that means person will buy insurance but in actually uh, in actually there was the value as n that means 
uh, that value would have been definitely less than 0 0.5. And for example purpose, let's say assume that that value was 0 0.4, but we, our model predicted as 0 0.7. So there is a gap between this is my uh, actual and this is my predicted. So this is my predicted. So there is a gap between actual and predicted. So what will happen after this stage, uh, the error will be calculated. Error means that uh, model told me that, okay, this person will buy insurance, but I am telling model, no, 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 you are giving me the wrong, wrong prediction. This person will not buy insurance. So model will calculate that, okay, where I have done the error, will calculate that error. And how that error will be calculated? that error will be, there are numerous ways to calculate this, but for simplicity purpose, again, I'm just taking it as a predicted minus actual and the absolute value. So predicted is my 0 0.7 and actual is my 0 0.4 and absolute if I take it as 0 0.3. So this is my error. Model has done this much of error while calculating this. So what will happen in next stage is this error 0 0.3, this output layer will back propagate means it will give this information back to the previous layer which is of neurons and will tell okay boss you whatever with whatever calculation you have done with the value of w and b and whatever activation function you have applied this is giving me this 0 0.3 as an error and you are giving me wrong prediction so you need to update your weights so in the next stage, what will happen? More model will update its weights W and B. These these uh, because in the first iteration, I told you that these values are hypothetically initialized in the first iteration. Let's say these were 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and 1.2. So all these values are hypothetically initialized. But uh, in the next what in the next iteration, what will be done with it will be told to the model that was with these values, we are getting error. We are not getting right prediction. So you need to update this. So model will do some sort of mathematical uh, function that I am not, I do not want to discuss in this particular video because it will um, become more length, longer video. But you assume that some sort of updation will happen and model will initialize the these weights, these whatever the values that we have initialized in the first iteration will some another new value. So let's say in second iteration out instead of 0 0.4, this value became 0 0.3. And the same way, let's say for 0 0.5, this value became, let's say 1.2. And plus for 0 0.6, let's say this value became 0 0.3 into 15,000. Plus let's say this value became, let's say 27. I'm just taking random value. So uh let's say in the second iteration this is how again the value of y will be calculated this y will be then again given to the activation function then we will calculate again we'll calculate um, the the output value and let's say this time it comes out to be 0 0.4 or 0 0.42 or let's say 0 0.39 whatever so that means uh, our model is telling me that uh, okay this person will not buy insurance and in actual the value was also no so that means uh, this this is how the training happens du this is how during the training all these calculations are done during a deep learning neural network and these are the two things which majorly uh, are part of a neuron so i hope all these things make sense to you guys if you have any question related to this video please leave into the comments i will try to address it um, stay tuned for more such videos if you are a beginner you want to learn machine learning i have created a full machine learning playlist i will drop the link in the description box you can check it out and i'm working on the deep learning playlist as well this is the second video so uh, if you have any questions please draw drop any comment for the your for your doubts and please subscribe your please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed to it uh, till now, please like the video and share it with, you, with, with your friends. So thanks for watching. Till the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.